Hi. Good evening. Uh, today I would like to share my views on sustainable development. All right. Uh, I'm starting now. The phrase sustainable development is now a much discussed and debated issue in both academic and development discourse. Therefore, it is necessary to understand the meaning of the terminology. To trace the issue, we should go back to the 80s of the previous century, when the World Commission on Environment and Development published its report. What was the name of the report? Our Common Future, that was published in 1987. It was chaired by the then Prime Minister of Norway, Gro Harlem. Brundtland, thus earning the name the Brundtland Commission. Further, the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development in Rio de Janeiro in 1992 issued a declaration of principles, a detailed Agenda 21 of desired actions, international agreements on climate change and biodiversity and a statement of principles on forests. After 10 years of the said conference, again in 2002 at the World Summit on Sustainable Development in Johannesburg, South Africa, the commitment to sustainable development was reaffirmed. So in the interim, sustainable development as a concept, as a goal, and as a movement spread rapidly and is now central to the mission of countless international organizations, national institutions, and other bodies throughout the world. However, the Brundtland Commission's brief definition of sustainable development is the ability to make development sustainable to ensure that it meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. On development, the report states that human needs are basic and essential, that economic growth is also equity to share resources with the poor, which is required to sustain them, and the equity is encouraged by effective citizen participation. Now let us focus on the ambitious goals taken by the global leaders in the Sustainable Development Goals. The Sustainable Development Goals, in short, SDGs, from 17 to 20th February 2015, the member states of the UN met for a round of intergovernmental negotiations in New York. In the summit, the world leaders formulated 17 development goals known as the Sustainable Development Goals, otherwise known as the Global Goals, which are actually a universal call to action to end poverty, protect the planet, and ensure that all people enjoy peace and prosperity. These 17 goals were built on the successes of the Millennium Development Goals, which included new areas such as climate change, economic inequality, innovation, sustainable consumption, peace and prosperity, among other priorities. The goals are interconnected. Often, the key to success on one will involve tackling issues more commonly associated with others. The SDGs or Sustainable Developments, Development Goals are inclusive agenda. The ambitious goals are, the 17 goals are, number first one is, end poverty in all its forms everywhere. The first thing is, the United Nations seeks to end poverty <coughs> Sorry, in all its forms everywhere in the world. Number two, end hunger so many people millions of people still cannot eat square meal so the united nations placed 
to end hunger number 3 ensure healthy lives still in the world particularly in india see that uh, maternal mortality rate is too high in comparison with other european or american nations american countries you know the uh, child mortality rate is high child sex ratio is also very 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 disproportionate here in india uh, many girls are missing in their wombs so uh, the so it is it is a, it is it is necessary to ensure healthy lives and there are many stunt boys and girls many many uh, many many uh, what what is same the many people are not many 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 uh, rural people are not getting enough food to eat they are not having uh, uh, what is same uh, they are due to lack of health infrastructure they are deprived of uh, deprived from uh, from 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 medicine and from uh, medical uh, what is say medical assistance so it seeks to so the united nation seeks to ensure healthy lives for all the people on this planet number 4 equality the quality education in you know, see education is such a weapon by which you can kill all kinds of enemies like all kinds of social enemies like ignorance like child marriage like early pregnancy like uh, what is say ill health and 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 so many other things through education if one uh, attains university degrees or if he or she if a person is uh, properly educated if one is properly skilled then uh, he or she is uh, able to participate in economic economic uh, activities so in this way he can earn a good livelihood for himself and for his family also so quality education uh, to ensure quality education is is most important thing out of all our almost all all our important agenda has been ta- have been taken by the united nations but uh, quality education is uh, i think i think the most important uh, one because without education you cannot think of others and uh, number 5 gender equality still there is discrimination still there is oppression still there is inequality in every sphere of society in society in politics in economy and uh, in education everywhere in sports in uh, games and sports in space in research in medicine in healthcare everywhere women are women face inequality women face discrimination there is not a single country in the world where women face equality where, where women are are equal with their male counterparts mere political participation may be in rwanda and in some uh, scandinavian countries maybe women have attained uh, 50% or nearly 50% uh, uh, what is same uh, membership in uh, in in their parliaments but it does not mean that they are politically empowered and they are they are the actual decision makers in uh, in, in, in 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 policies on uh, in policy uh, formulation and implementation of those policies and if they maybe if they uh, even if they are uh, participating in policy making uh, they are not enjoying the as a whole equally uh, uh, women are not enjoying the fruits of development equally with their male counterparts okay number 6 is clean water and good sanitation clean water and good sanitation is also very important recently the indian government has also introduced swachh bharat mission mission it means clean india mission this is very much important because you know 
in 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 darts or in uh, what do you say in um, uh, untidy uh, at atmosphere or environment you cannot grow properly you cannot develop yourself properly if the environment is not clean if your uh, maybe your home maybe your school maybe your work place maybe road maybe airport uh, maybe railway station maybe marketplace maybe parks if those are not cleaned if those are not smoke free if those are not pollution free then how can you survive how can you participate how can you give your full for your organization for your family for your workplace it's not possible that's why it's very much important for clean water and good sanitation and here i have seen in many islam areas the sanitation condition is so poor so poor they have not even their latrines sometimes community latrine and the community latrine uh, is also used by many people and they are not uh, using it properly they are not uh, flushing water properly so it remains dirt and uh, dirty and many young girls and women uh cannot go to that uh, cannot use those toilets and then clean water you know this uh, clean water is another important thing clean water is necessary but many but many i mean millions of people here in india are deprived of clean water because very poor people and very and very 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 poor people and very uh, unprivileged people uh, uh, are not uh, are not now uh, having this uh, clean water this is the condition in 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 many african and um, um, uh, and uh, asian south asian nations so so clean water and good sanitation is also helpful for sustainable development so this was the uh, goal number 6 of the united nations uh, number 7 clean energy for all you know this clean energy is necessary in um, in many places still in the still in the world particularly in india people are using what i say this um, wood uh, then uh, they use uh, leaves and they use uh, some other items and coal for uh, for 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 cooking purposes and these use uh, this what the 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 smoke that produces uh, harm uh, women particularly those who cook for us so mothers mainly and uh, women are being affected uh, with uh, with this with this uh, smokes so that's why uh, uh, this is the scenario in the world entire world so that's why the united nations has introduced uh, clean energy i mean i has set a goal for clean energy for all number 8 decent work and economic growth yeah decent what is work is also necessary you know decent work and education has very close relation if people are uh, educated if people are skilled enough they can participate in uh, what i say they can participate in decent work and definitely the definite the per capita income will uh, increase and with the increase of per capita income gdp will also 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 be increased so if there is uh, increase or growth of a nation so def- definitely with that with that money or with that uh, with that with that with that, with that, um, uh, with that uh, share of growth i mean uh, people i mean the the policy makers of the governments would be able to spend more on social sectors maybe in health maybe in education maybe uh, in, uh, in in other purposes mainly in social sector for the development of society for the development of a human being for the for the development of human asset for the development of of uh, of of human society so this is very this is that was also that is also very important to ensure uh, decent work and economic growth but uh, yeah, but i am saying that this is necessary for to attain or to get a decent job a decent work and economic environment one needs to uh, one needs to introduce or spend more uh, of their of their of the of their uh, budgetary allocation for education purpose right <coughs> number 9 innovation 
and infrastructure you know uh, innovation is necessary and a very innovative minds are coming off uh, from schools from school levels they are making very years i a few days ago i saw i i uh, i i i read a newspaper report that a young girl a young girl has developed in ac very that is also very cheap rated ac maybe costed what within 2000 rupees so um, uh, so this this kinds of this kinds of uh, innovation uh, will help the world to grow and uh, if i i i, I uh, it, it seems to me that throughout the world this uh, innovative or the, through innovation um, of young students will uh, will will bring about uh, will bring about uh, mm, a development will bring about a change uh, a formative change in the globe and <clears throat> and similar uh, important similar important thing is infrastructure you know without infrastructure you cannot uh, you cannot uh, communicate with people with communicate with people fast with uh, now this uh, world is uh, world is uh, what i say moving very fast and uh, people's expectation has also increased so you need uh, good infrastructure with good infrastructure you can uh, you can travel first you can communicate fast and uh, you can do business first fast and you can do everything fast so uh, so that's why uh, infrastructure and good infrastructure and uh, and uh, highly scientific infrastructure is necessary with the, uh, with the, uh, and uh, with the use of technology uh, if uh, infrastructure is developed with more technology and uh, then uh, it seems that communication will be faster business will be faster and and and, and movement of people will be faster in you know in a, in a, in a word uh, it will facilitate it or it will uh, it will what i say it will quicken the process of uh, development so infrastructure innovation and infrastructure are also very much important and reduce inequality uh, yes i told you uh, just uh, that uh, there still there is inequality inequality between men and women inequality between rich and poor inequality between high caste and low caste inequality between everywhere everywhere is inequality so this kind of inequality within nation inequality among between the nations so these kinds of inequality should be reduced should be should be brought to a zero level for that reason yeah yeah so, uh, socialism i may uh, prescribe few days ago i was uh, not i am not prescribing but it was i just questioning whether socialism uh, in true sense if it is possible uh, could uh, could could bring about this kind of uh, uh, equality reduce inequality means bringing about e equality so is it possible is it possible today's uh, this globalized world uh, to bring uh, what they say to bring equality between nations between poor and uh, rich it's uh, it's 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 to, to, it's it seems to me that it's uh, to some extent uh, an absurd idea but uh, but still we should have a goal so that uh, so that we can reduce so that we can reduce the what you say the the, the 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 proportion or the amount of inequality between rich and poor between uh, and between 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 uh, between higher caste and lower caste and between um, between two nations right that is good and number 11 is sustainable cities and settlements yes sustainable cities are also necessary to, uh, the world is uh, being, uh, being, uh, being, 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 being modern. The world is being, uh, being, uh, world is changing very fast towards uh, towards urbanization and uh, for and those urbanization, the clean cities and sustainable cities and settlements are also very important. And that's why it should be a goal. And that's why the United Nations has uh, set a goal on uh, sustainable cities and settlements with the sustainable cities and settlements the 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 the, the uh, improved life of people will be settled there and 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 a certain section of people will be uh, will, will will be will be able to will be able to settle there and will be able, able to able to enjoy the benefits of sustainable uh, cities right so this is good and number 12 sustainable production and consumption sustainable production is also necessary and 
consumption is also necessary sustainable consumption you know that consumption should be sustainable and the production should be sustainable not pro that, that that production and this is also uh, related to somehow with education if uh, if, if people are uh, properly educated if proper if people are properly skilled then you can only produce sustainable items sustainable goods and uh, similarly if you are educated enough then also you will be wise so that you can use your consumption your consumption pattern will be will be realistic your consumption pattern will be uh, will be will be will be will be uh, wise that's why it is also related with good education and number 13 combat climate change climate change is a very very important uh, goal now it is in front of the global leaders you know this um, the 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 the, the uh, the what do you say developing countries or underdeveloped countries or the countries who are using less technologies are uh, are 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 producing less carbon so the mainly the first world countries or the developed countries are are producing or emitting more and more what you say carbon so they should be they should they, they are talking about uh, uh, biological they are talking about climate change and they are they are holding climate they are holding summits they are holding um, I mean some meetings and seminars and conferences and they are talking about uh, changing about uh, what I say uh, reducing uh, carbon emission but they are producing more so uh, they should be they should not only talk they should act properly so I, I think that uh, if the people if the people uh, I mean uh, the big nations or the developed countries uh, uh, reduce more and then they will then the climate change or the 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 the, the health of the uh, the health health of climate health of the environment will be better so it it needs uh, their participation more and i'm i'm not saying that uh, the the third world countries or the developing developing countries will not uh, participate properly or equally they should also participate equally and properly but uh, uh, but but the but the nations but actually the nations i mean the the the, the developed nations should come forward more actively to combat climate change and life below water this is a very good thing life below water and number 15 life on land see these are the things uh, this these these this this, uh, uh, this uh, sdgs uh, have uh, have set so these are uh, the, uh, no actually we are thinking about the people who were living on this planet but this is the first time that the united nations have thought about uh, about uh, about the people or about the t about the plants about the animals about the what do you say about the living animals uh, about the about, about the plants and about the animals those who are living uh, below the land below land below water and uh, and similarly life on land should also be taken care of because uh, if we are not here then what is the use of this earth right so life on Muslims for life both on our land and below water should be taken care of and this is a goal has taken by the United Nations and this is the goal of the of the of the member countries of the world so all the member countries of the world should come forward to take care of the life below water and life on our land okay number 16 is peace and justice the way the most important thing is peace who wants to live a unpeaceful life can you say do you like if your peace is disturbed would you feel happy no nobody likes disturbance nobody likes war nobody likes terrorism but these things still are continuing i think mainly is section of parochial minded people a section of uh, ignorant people a section of uh, lowly educated or uh, maybe uh, improper educated improperly educated uh, people <coughs> those who have not attained proper education maybe they who were deprived in their who were deprived in their childhood from the from the parental care from the societal care from their uh, from the care of uh, their guardians they are involved in involved in this kinds of uh, what i say uh, activities anti-social activities and uh, who are creating actually who are disturbing peace uh, and family peace societal peace national peace and international peace 
so peace is very very important everybody wants to remain peaceful everybody wants to lead a peaceful life maybe they are poor maybe they are not having sufficient food maybe they are not having sufficient cloth with them maybe they are not having very good or very uh, very 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 big house maybe they are not having jewelry maybe they are not having gold they are maybe they are not having much land but if they are peaceful if then they are happy if there is peace in the family if there is peace in the locality if there is peace in the nation if there is peace in the country then or then there automatically there will be peace in the international arena and the people will be happy happy so peace is very very important thing so we are desirous everybody in the world uh, uh, is desiring for peace and justice you know justice is a word which is really to some in most cases missing missing i would say the justice is not because you may knock several times at the door of judiciary but justice is mostly in most of the cases are delayed you know so uh, justice is uh, really something which is very 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 precious so it should be done properly timely and appropriately so just both peace and justice should be taken care of by all the nations okay and number 7 and last one is partnership and financing for achieving the goals yes to this globalized world you cannot live you cannot stand alone you have to go together you have to mix with others you have to uh, make partnership with others with the uh, with other nations so that you can develop a, a combined develop a, a partner develop or a, 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 a what do you say a, a, a joint development can take place so uh, partnership and financing for achieving goals i know that for financing imf is there uh, international monetary fund is there and uh, they are they are they are helping they are they are helping they are assisting various nations and uh, uh, so this uh, partnership and financing for uh, achieving goals uh, is also is also important and uh, so all these 17 goals uh, it should be uh, all these those those goals should be achieved by 2030 in the agenda it has been said and uh, all the nations uh, most of all, almost all the nations have uh, swum into action for achieving these goals and regarding these goals it can be concluded that the 17 sustainable development goals are the most ambitious commitments to eradicating poverty the world has ever seen today i'd like to conclude here thank you thank you very much thank you thank you very much